So what are the reasons why patients with HFREV are not able to achieve the standard dose of RD as mentioned in Paradigm HF trial? So usually I think it's a fear uh, from the physician, fear from a cardiologist, and uh, most of the patients who were enrolled in this clinical trial could able to achieve a dose of 100 mg twice a day. 25% of the patients could able to achieve 200 mg twice a day and only 5 to 10% of patients they could able to achieve dose of 50 mg twice a day. So it totally depends on the hemodynamics of a patient and how you have a follow up of a patient. Usually, if patient is maintaining blood pressure of 100 by 70 despite 50 mg twice a day dose, you should not have a hesitation to make the dose to 100 mg twice a day because over a period of time, the ejection fraction improves, overall patient's outcome improves and the blood pressure does improve. That's what is being seen in clinical practice. In a patient who is extremely bad with blood pressure of 90 by 60, in that cases, Usually the starting dose is 50 mg twice a day and gradually in a month's time you should able to achieve 100 mg twice a day dose. Whenever the doses are not achieved properly, uh, it is been seen that the effect of uh, long term benefits are not as great as the dose what maximum dose could able to give it. But there are studies which says that 50 mg twice a day dose is also efficacious in overall prolonging the life of a patient and improving the quality of life. But if you could able to achieve the optimum dose, the BNP levels are, pro-BNP levels are achieved to be, uh, to get normalized early. The risk of sudden cardiac deaths are less seen because it does have some membrane stabilizing effect on the myocardium and reduces uh, cardiac arrhythmias and overall improvement in injection fraction is better with uh, higher doses but it totally depends on your patient's hemodynamic condition and here the physician discretion and clinicians uh, uh, clinicians uh, uh, visits follow up visits with the patient is very important if the creatinine potassium values remain normal despite blood pressure of 100 by 70 you should easily able to achieve maximum dose thank you